In this video, I'll be doing a detailed solution to the maths question you see on the screen here. It's from the Cambridge A-Level exams from 2024, paper 2.2 or paper 2.3. They're actually the same paper. If you're looking for a different question from one of those papers, check out my description below. It should have a link to a playlist there. I'll be doing all this on a whiteboard, hopefully just like you're used to your teacher doing. But remember, we are on YouTube, so take advantage, pause, rewind, or even watch at a different speed. If you do like this video or any of my videos, I would greatly appreciate a subscribe, a like, a share, or even a super thanks. In question three, we're given a drawing, roughly like this one, and then um, we're also given the equation of this curve. Uh, y is equal to eight uh, times e to the power of minus x, minus e to the power of two uh, x. And we're asked uh, two questions, part a and b. In part a, they simply ask us to find the gradient of, of the curve. At, uh, at A, I'm sorry, and they tell us A is at, on the Y axis, B is on the X axis. Okay, so when you're asked to find the gradient of a curve, uh, hopefully you are starting to think um, derivative. So what they really want you to find here is the derivative of Y. It's not too bad to uh, differentiate E to the power of something. It's, um, what's special about the number E is E to the power of X is its own derivative. That's actually what's special about e. So uh, to differentiate e to the power of anything, it really mostly just stays the same. We just have to multiply by the derivative of what's up here. Um, and the derivative of this is minus one. So we multiply by a minus. Uh, same here, this is, uh, stays the same, and we just multiply by the derivative of up here, and that's two in this case. So that's, uh, that's the grade, that's the general term for the derivative or the gradient. They want to know about it at this point. So uh, what do we know about the point A? We know x equals zero. So we just do this again, but instead of x, we put in zero. So that's the uh, y dx at x equals zero. That's how we write that. And that's equal to minus eight e to the power of zero, or minus zero, uh, minus two e to the power of two zeros, which is just zero. Um, anything to the power of zero is one, so this just becomes minus eight, minus two, which equals minus 10. And that, that's the answer to part A. Uh, for part B, uh, they want us to show that the x coordinates of B is natural log two. And then they want us to find the area of the shaded region. A bit strange that they didn't make this B and C, but feels a bit mashed together. But let's uh, do it in two different parts. Let's, first, let's find the coordinates of this point. Let's find the x coordinates of it. So we know y is equal to zero here. It's nothing to do with the derivative at this point. It's just, uh, oh, I've rubbed out the y part. Um, with a quick bit of editing, it's back in. Uh, so we know that y equals zero at this point. So let's just do this equation again, but instead of y, we put zero in. And we solve for x. Um, how do we do that? It's a little tricky at this point. A lot of students would have got stuck here. So I would have liked that if they'd given, well, it is handy they did give you the answer to this. Sorry, that's why they gave you the answer here. Because it is quite tricky to do this part. There's only two marks for this, by the way, of these five marks. Um, so a couple of things you need to remember about rules around powers. Uh, the first one that will help you here is remember that what the minus means. It's e to the power of x. And hopefully then when you see e to the power of x, you'll notice that this is nearly e to the power of x as well. Remember what multiply up here means. This is e to the power of x squared. So there's just uh, two e to the x's multiplying each other up there. That's another way to write this. And I think that's pr probably what have helped a lot of students answer this question. Um, let's multiply everything by this e to the power of x to get get rid of it. Zero times it is still zero. Eight over it cancels to get just eight. And this guy becomes e to the power of x cubed. Now you wouldn't have to write it like this. Um, you could just leave it as uh, minus e to the power of three x. So it is okay just know that multiplying this by e to the x gets e to the power of three x. You can also think of it like uh, e to the x multiplying by e to the two x um, you can just think of it as one of your power rules. These just add together. This becomes e to the x plus 2x, which is equal to, sorry, e to the 3x. Whatever way you think of it, hopefully you got to this point. Um, at this point, we just sort of start to solve it. e to the 3x is equal to 8. 
Um, take the natural log of both sides. We get 3x is equal natural log of 8. Um, divide both sides by 3. We get sorry, x is equal 1 over 3 natural log of 8. And then just remember another rule of logs this time. Uh, anything multiplied by log is the same as uh, that number coming in and uh, going to the power of it. So 8 to the power of 1 over 3. Remember what that means. That's uh, the cube root. So that's natural log of 2. And that's uh, the answer to the first part of part B. Uh, the next part, they say to find the shaded region in here. So that you should be thinking um, integration. So that's the integral between the leftmost part, which is 0, and the rightmost part, which we've just now found out is natural log 2. And that's of uh, y dx. Or in this case, it's this. So let's write that again. The integral of natural log 2, 0 of 8, e to the minus x minus e to the 2x uh, dx. Let's put a bracket in, dx. So that will be the area we're looking for. Uh, thankfully, once again, e is really easy to integrate. Differentiate, integrate, they're the different so sides of the same coin. And um, it's really easy to integrate. It just, nothing changes except, so we get that 8 to the e to the minus x, except we divide by the derivative of the up here. Um, that's when it's, uh, when, it, when the derivative is, uh, doesn't have an x in it, at least. So we divide by uh, minus one, or which is the same as multiplying by minus one. Uh, this guy doesn't change, uh, just gets divided by two. So we'll put in a uh, half here. Um, and this is still evaluated between zero and natural log two. Okay, so we just go ahead and put these in. Uh, this will become minus eight, e to the minus uh, natural log 2 minus a half e to the 2 times natural log 2 uh, minus, we put 0 in, so that's minus minus 8 e to the minus 0 uh, minus minus, that's plus half e to the 2 times 0. Um, we have to be a little careful here. A lot of students are very tempted to just go e and the natural log cancel, we get minus 2. That's not true, that will be wrong. Um, we need to change this up to eight times e to the natural log two. Remember, this is a minus one here. Remember what multiplying does, it comes in and goes to the power of it. So it's to the power of, two to the power of minus one, which if you skip ahead in your head, that's a half. Two to the power of minus one is one over two. Uh, same thing here, we get minus a half E, it, it's not, the E in the natural log can't cancel yet. We need to move this two. And that two will move in and we get two to the power of two. Uh, these guys we can start doing. That's just one, that's just uh, one times eight. Uh, that's just one times a half. Clean that up now. Uh, at this point we can cancel. The E in the natural logs can cancel. We get uh, minus eight and that's uh, a half. Uh, yeah, a half here. Here we get minus a half, uh, that'll cancel, we get 2 to the power of 2, which is just 4, plus 8, plus a half. Uh, we add all this together, we get uh, a four. We get minus 4, minus 2, plus 8, uh, that's plus 2, 2 plus a half, well let me write that down, 2 plus a half, and the answer is 5 over 2. And that's, uh, yeah, that's the full answer for question 3 which I don't have written up on the board. Uh, if you have any follow-up questions on anything I did here, let me know in the comments. I'll do my best to get back to you. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.